This is just to demonstrate how to give an insulin injection correctly. So um, this is our insulin here. When your dog is diagnosed with diabetes, um, your vet or your the vet nurse will go through everything with you, but this is just a handy reference point to look back. So when you take your bottle out of the fridge, do not shake it. So you invert it slowly. So that means turning it upside down really gently like that. This is to make um, the solution um, even throughout, but don't shake it because that will cause air bubbles. Then you place your syringe into the bottle and you draw back slowly. So Ruby is on five units here of insulin. So you can see that the needle is extremely fine. And um, the area that I recommend injecting in, in the dog is around here on their scruff. So pick their skin up really nice and gently in with the needle. She doesn't even notice. Drop the skin and then inject. And Ruby's brilliant for it. She's been getting them for a couple of weeks now. She's so good. Um, always store your insulin in the fridge. Um, always keep an eye on the date of it. Um, don't let it be open for more than, I think it's four weeks for this insulin. Um, and always store in the fridge. And if there's any air bubbles or anything like that, um, don't, don't use it. Um, you know, you, you can't have air bubbles in it. So again, what you do is you put your syringe in, draw back slowly, lift the skin, and I always tell our owners to drop the skin again nice and slowly after you put the needle in and give your injection. Um, Ruby is brilliant for it, aren't you Ruby?